Um, I do. <laughs> I've I've concocted a story in my head that makes that guard tower useful. What's up, my immune friends? This is KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play for Mist Survival. All right, I went ahead and did some farming. I actually went and found... Do you guys remember that jerry can I lost? I thought I had, like, a lot of fuel in it, right? Um, and I wanted to find it. So I went around today looking for it for, like, 45 minutes. It, it kind of sucked, but I finally found it. And it only had 2.52 liters of gas in it, so that kind of blows. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this gas for the generator. Now, you guys told me you could use gas in the generator. I know you could use gas in the generator. I choose not to use gas in the generator. And the reason is because there's only a finite amount of gas in the world. And biofuel will not run your car. Okay, by the way, that one day in 10 hours, that's not accurate. Yeah, it's not updating properly. Anyway, um, it'll, it'll run for longer now. Um, yeah, so I don't want to run out of gas. Because you can't use biofuel for your car. And I don't want to well, run out of gas. Um, that's why I'm not using gas for the generator. I just want you guys to know that I do know about it, but you know, it's not good. It's not going to work with this uh, generator. Uh, you just have to farm biofuel for too long. It takes an hour per chicken to harvest for two fat, right? Um, I went ahead and killed a chicken and you get 0.16 liters roughly out of a chicken. So it takes one hour to get 0.16 liters. Now let's see how much, uh, Let's see if that, well, the t you know what? The time's not going to update on this thing, so I guess it's irrelevant, but whatever. I'll just put it in there anyway. There we go. Oh, it does look like it's updating, but that's, I don't think that's accurate though. Five. No, that's definitely not accurate, but whatever. The, the thing is, I don't want to be, uh, it takes like multiple hours, like at least six hours to, 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 um, to, you know, cut up a bear. It takes an hour per chicken. It, it, it's not really, it's not really feasible right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make another generator. How about that? What do you think about that, guys? I'm just going to make another generator. Am I going to get it done today? I don't know. We've got, we've got other plans today. I don't know if I'm going to get this done today. But if I could just make a new generator every five days, probably not that big of a deal. Now, it does take 20 components, okay? But I know where there's a car, that two cars that are right next to each other, and I can hit them both at the same time, reload the game, bada bing, bada boom, uh, might not be a big deal. Now, this is completely unbalanced right now. It's okay. This is an early access game. No big deal. But I just wanted to um, address that issue. So I'm probably just going to make another generator. It comes with 15 fuel, which is five, which is five days worth. I also went ahead and chopped down some more of this stuff. Let's see if we can close this. Yeah, there we go. Chopped down some more trees. Got some more of that good stuff. Um, I actually got attacked by some bandits. All right, remember how Kate was stuck, right? Kate was stuck up there. By the way, you guys gave me the excellent, unbelievably cool idea to put the lockers in the way so she can't get over there anymore. All right, so I got Kate unstuck. But here's the thing, guys. I have not been attacked by bandits in days, maybe weeks, okay? The second I went to another base, made it my home, came back here and remade this my home, bandits were all over me. So we are going to be getting attacked again. That's going to bring me up to what we're going to be doing today. Now, I love bringing this car into the base, okay? Now, as far as I know, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I'm wrong. As far as I know, the only way to keep um, bandits out of the base is to, because they can open the doors. The only way to keep them out of the base is with fencing. Now, you can move stuff. I mean, I guess I could move stuff in the way. Yeah, another way you can keep them out of the base is to do this. I guess I'll show you this trick, too. Although, I don't know if I want to actually do this. Basically, what you do is whenever you come in for the night, you use a couple of drying racks and you put them in front. Um, like so. Like that. And you get another one, you put it right in front. I don't think the bandits can get past these drying racks. Now, here's the thing, guys. I could put fencing in front of the gate, which would mean I wouldn't have to move drying racks, right? But the thing is, if you put fencing in front of the gate, you can't get the car inside the base. Now, my original idea was to say, screw it and put fencing in front of the gate. But you know what? No, I actually want to get, I want to be able to pull my car into the base. So I think we're just going to use drying racks. I think we're just going to use drying racks. As a matter of fact, why don't we go ahead and make some backup bows? Because I want to get the stuff, I want to get that stuff off the drying rack. Come on, woman, damn. Get over here. Can we get both of them working on this thing at once? Um, what I want to do is I want to get, uh, here, let, let's, um, let's do this as well. Let's just set up a bow. You see, you can't cancel these. That's what I don't, that's what I don't like. So what we're going to do... Oh, you know what? I can make these myself. Can I? I think I can. Let's just do that myself. Wow, dude. Why does it take so long to make matches? <laughs> I didn't even realize how long it took to make matches. It took me like a day and a half. Like two full days almost. 
Oh, boy. Well, I got to be careful. Well, I'm probably never going to make another match again. I've made so many. Boy. Was, you want like um, you want to have a crafting table dedicated just to matches. This thing completely ran out of fuel. Um, I'm not even going to worry about it right now. Let's go ahead and close this up. All right. So now we're going to take these off the drying rack. But first, I want to make sure I have everything else I'm going to need because... I think those guts will pretty much spoil as soon as I take them off the drying rack, possibly. Or if they won't, they'll spoil really quickly. So, um, we need lashing. So, that's in here. Eight. That's not enough. Let's get some more feathers. Not, I'm sorry. Some more um, some more leaves. And let's make some more... Oh, we're going to need that stuff as well. The bark. Good old bark. We're going to start picking that up off the ground. All right. Let's make some lashings. Because I want to have these ready to go, so I can take the guts right off the, right off the rack, and then just get right to it. Um, six. Okay, yeah, we got plenty of lashings now. Okay, and we should have plenty. Of, yeah, we got plenty of sticks as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab these. Collect, 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 collect. Now, are they in my inventory? They are, and they will go bad. I don't know when they're going to go bad. They're at negative fifteen, whatever that means. But let's just use them up quick. Um, so if they're going to go bad, you know. We'll, we'll just make a bunch of longbows. There's no reason not to. And we will uh, have Rachel do that. All right. So now the stuff's in here. As long as she makes that stuff, we'll have some longbows. And the guts are no problem. So, I'm just yeah, I'm just going to put these in front of the door. It's just, it's just easier. It's just easier. That way I could drive the car in here. Because otherwise, you know, you simply can't drive the car in here. I'm also going to break open. Uh, now, that, now that we're being attacked, I'm going to break this gate and replace it with a wall. I don't... Well, I mean, I could just use drying racks. I could just use drying racks over there as well. Yeah, for sure. All right. So the other thing I wanted to to work with is up here. I want these trees to to stay the hell out of here. I don't want them growing back. Come on, really? Am I stuck or what? Can I move this, please? Yep. The chair's in the way. Okay. Well, we'll just move the chair right there. All right, so I want to make a little, um, a little, uh, what is it called? Shelter shack up here, right? And I don't know, I'm just kind of messing around, maybe a small cabin and uh, maybe use it to uh, shoot down on the sides, right? Oh, also really quick, let me get this out of the way before I forget, because I'm going to take a, an idea from one of my fellow YouTubers. and I want to make sure I give full credit. Um, so we're all on the same page here. All right, so my buddy Game Edge, who's also playing this game, you should definitely go check him out on YouTube, Game Edged, okay? Uh, he's making videos on this game as well, daily, just like me. And he came up with an excellent idea. And I, I, I try not to use other people's ideas if I can help it. Um, but the fact of the matter is I can't help it. This is an ungodly, ridiculously good idea. And we're not going to get to it today, but I'm going to talk about it today. And uh, that way, actually, we might get to it today. I'm not really sure. But what he did was he made fencing about this far out from his wall. And he made it all the way around his base. And then he put lights up. And the reason that's such a good idea is because when the when the infected come in, they'll get caught on the fence. And then I can shoot them from up top of the wall. Uh, when the infected get right up on my fence, it's like impossible to hit them. You got to like kind of jump up on the fence and shoot them from the side. It's really annoying. But if you can keep them out that far away from the fence, like about this far away, then, you know, that makes it so much better. And uh, Game Edge came up with the idea and I'm going to use it uh, because, well, guys, it's an excellent idea. But I just wanted to give full, full credit um, to Game Edge so nobody thinks I'm stealing ideas. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and chop down these trees. I'm going to chop down these trees. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the stumps up. Okay. And what I'm hoping is if I leave the stumps alone, the tree won't grow back. Because I want to like build up on top of this thing. And the tree growing back is, is really becoming an issue. Really becoming an issue. I also have some ideas for the outside dining area that I'm going to kind of mess around with, but that's not going to be this video. Honestly, I don't know what I'm going to get to this video. My original idea on this video was to make the um, the the fence thing blocking the entrance so uh, bandits couldn't get in. But now that I've decided not to do that, we're kind of off the rails on this one. So we'll see. Come on, man. There you go. All right. We're just going to leave those right there. And let me chop this one down next. And as you can see, the, the swing set is growing back. Which is, you know, just fine by me. Just fine by me. Alright, we should be able to chop this down without uh, without our stamina going all the way down. Let's uh, go ahead and drink to get our stamina up a little bit so we can just finish off this tree. I did get a, um, I did get a lot of components uh, before this video, but it's not enough. I mean, you need two per fence. It's just insane. Just insane. Alright. Come on. 
Come on. Okay. And then we got to get this one. This is going to be a tough one. To hit this and not the, not the wall. So let's see if we can do that. Okay. That looks pretty good. I saved the game, so if I break down the wall, it's not the end of the world. I could just reload. I don't think I'm hitting. I don't even know if you can hit the, the, the little support beams on the outside of the wall. I don't think you can hit these things. I'm not going to try, though. Okay. Come on. Break up, bro. It's trying. There we go. There we go. All right. Let me reload, and uh, let's see if those trees grow back. And they did grow back. Nah, that's a bit of a bummer. That is a bit of a bummer. Really, really wish the trees wouldn't grow back. All right, well, let's see what we can do with this. Let's see what we can do with this. Uh, is that good enough the way it is? Um, it looks like it kind of has a tree in it. No, actually, it doesn't. That might be an okay spot for this. I'm thinking I can walk in through here. Let's take it down and try and re-put it back. Maybe put it on a better angle or something. Maybe even put another wall out there for um, support. That might be a good idea. Well, let's see, hold on. Let's see what we can do here. All right, so we got like this, and you kind of get it get it up there like like that. Oh, we had it green. All right, let's bring it closer. Can we bring it closer? Guess not. All right, so that's green. Okay, so that's green. Now we want to get the the door to where we can get in. And that's the door. Come on, go green. Ah, uh, it's so close. Oh, that's pretty good. Maybe? It's okay. It's okay. I'm not really sure. That's the idea. That's the idea. Mm, yeah, let's let's build it. I'm going to save. I'm going to build it. If I don't like it, I'll just tear it down. Not really a huge deal. Or, what I can do is... What I can do is... Um, let's come out out here. And let's build a next part of the wall. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, guys. I just went and built this whole thing up the way I wanted to. <clears throat> it was actually a pretty cool build. The only thing I don't like about it is if I build the wall the way it is right now, there'll be a gap under here that people could run under, and that just defeats the purpose of the whole thing. Um, that's actually uh, really, really just destroys the whole build. So I'm going to try and figure out a way where I could... I'm going to have to make two walls over here, I guess. Um, let me see. Do I want to do these? With ladder, no ladder. There we go. So I'm thinking, like, as long as as long as the enemy can't get underneath. Now, will the enemy run underneath? I don't know. It's kind of irrelevant because um, I just don't want them to be able to run underneath, even if they couldn't. Uh, so let's go ahead and put the stupid freaking uh, kookery away, or whatever the hell you want to call it, the uh, machete, the American eagle, whatever, whatever you like to call it. We gotta put it away. And let's go ahead and get a. Wall A, no ladder, and let's see if we can get that in here. So I'm thinking like that, and then maybe another one. Yeah. Um, actually, I, I kind of want it more like this, but then I don't want this to have to take three walls. If this has to take three walls, that's, you know, that's no good. That's no good. I could just maybe put the, um, uh, yeah, and I can't do it like this either. Uh, yeah, this isn't, yeah, this, this will, yeah, I mean, I could maybe do it like this. Maybe, maybe, maybe I could do it like that. Let's let's give it a shot. As long as they can't get underneath, there's gonna be a little gap there, though. I'm not gonna like. See if I come all the way over here, there's gonna be a gap. Although it's not gonna be that big of a gap. So maybe we could put. I don't really want this to take two walls. It's gonna get a little expensive, you know. Um. Uh, yeah. So this then this one would go like this, right? And this turns right here, and you can't put these in... Oh, yeah, I can put these inside of each other, I guess, if they're not made yet. Okay, guys, I've got another idea on how to handle this. So, I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and save it in case we don't like it. Um, yeah, I've got an idea how to handle this. Uh, I, I could just use the fencing to keep the enemies from getting underneath. So, now, the only thing is, I don't know if I want to put the big cabin on top. That's the only thing I'm not sure about. Alright, so we need the hammer, the saw... And a bunch of other stuff. So let's go grab the hammer and the saw and a bunch of other stuff. Get out of the way, Kate. You're, she's always in the way. They're always walking through the door whenever I am. It's like, seriously, like, make use of yourself. Go do something. Do something with yourself, woman. All right, so let's grab as many of these as we can. 
I, this is going to work. This is going to work, actually. I'm just not sure if I want to put the cabin thing on top or not. It looks a little ridiculous. Um, but at the same time, it also looks cool. I don't know. I'm kind of... In, uh, I'm, I'm of two minds on the cabin being on top. Uh, on one hand, it looks a little weird. But on the other hand, it's pretty cool because, like, it, whoever would be up there... Like, it's basically... Think of it as, like, a guard tower. And whoever would be up there would have ultimate protection. I mean... You know, but it's not really needed and it does hurt the visibility when you're shooting down. So it would be if I built the cabin up there, it would probably be, be more for looks than anything. And, you know, and, and looks are fine. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan of looks, you know, um, but at some point it just gets to be a bit much. And um, I don't know. I'm kind of torn out whether it looks cool or whether it looks foolish. Uh, but we're going to we're going to mess around. With it. I'll probably I'll probably make it. Um, and then just reload the game. I want you to see what it's going to look like, but I think I'm going to not use it. Um, so we'll see. We shall see. Let's go ahead and make this now. And next video, I'm probably going to start working on the fencing surrounding the place as well as, uh, next, next video is going to be all about protection from the, um, from the bandits. So, all right, let's go ahead and close this and let's go on up there and see what that looks like. The mist is so annoying when you're trying to get stuff done. It's a cool game mechanic, and I do like it, but... Alright, so we can come over here. See, now this right here alone, I think is fine. Like, I could just leave this the way it is, honestly. Just put the fencing underneath so they can't get underneath me. I've got angles from this angle all along the wall. I've got angles from here out there, and I've got angles from this part of the wall, too. And I could just put these every so often as kind of like little defensive things. Or, or... Or, I could put one of these things on top, which is kind of ridiculous, but I might do it just because of the lulls. Alright guys, I gotta do something I'm not good at, and I don't like doing. I've gotta make a final decision. <laughs> let's, let's take a look at this thing, man. Oh, God. I hate having to make decisions. I hate it. Now, this looks pretty cool, I think. Oh yeah, this looks... I mean, the problem is, it's not as effective. Like, it's simply not as effective. Now, if you had an enemy shooting at you... This would be way more effective. You've got way more cover, and I think it's pretty cool. But for the for the for the game itself, all it does is make it harder for me to shoot the uh, the enemy. Um, and you know, I don't know if that's a good. I don't know, but it also looks cool, and that also factors into it. I can't decide. Oh man, that looks pretty freaking good. That looks really cool. Ah. Uh... The thing's not functional, but I don't care. I'm keeping it. It looks too badass. And I've, I haven't seen anyone do it yet. Now, has anyone done anything like this before? I don't know. I'm not saying they haven't. I'm just saying I haven't seen it, which makes it original for me. Um, and it looks awesome. It looks freaking awesome. The hell with it. I'm keeping it. We're going to put uh, one, one on the other corner as well. Um, not today, though. I think now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the fencing. So, one, actually... We might have the fog coming in soon. I'd like to save the making of the sticks for the fog. Let's uh, let's work on this fencing first. All right, we don't have mu we don't have much for the fencing. Uh, now I could just do this. Now this is gonna. I mean, I could always work on all the fencing right now. No, no, no. Let's just do this for now. Let's just do this for now. Okay, so that fits in there almost perfectly. Wow, look at that. Wow, that actually um. Actually, really nice. That touches. That touches. I think that looks pretty good. And we'll do the same thing on the other side. And this is just so the enemies can't get underneath it. Although there's going to be a fence around this whole thing anyway, so the enemies will never be able to get underneath it. But I don't mind having double fences here, just in case. Just in case. I mean, it's not impossible for them to get into the inner fence. All right. So this one's going to be a little bit tougher. So why don't we? Uh, should we do two of these or just make one and just, you know, I think, um, I think we're going to do two of these possibly. I just don't know how I want to do it to make it look good. Now nah, we could just put one right there. It's not touching the walls though. That's going to bother me. It's going to bother me. I guess we could put one right here and then put another one by it or put this one right here and angle it this way. Put one like right here and then coming down to here. Possibly. Possibly. I don't hate the idea. Let's take a look. Let's see what we can do. Let me see what we can do with this. Oh, there we go. I had it. And I screwed it up. <laughs> What's new? 
All right, there we go. Okay, that looks good to me. That looks good to me. Now, no one will be able to get underneath. That is awesome. The only thing I don't like about it is the way it hangs over a little bit. But that's okay. That's okay. It shouldn't be a problem. Probably have the... Uh, the we'll, we'll have the fencing going around completely. And it'll probably be out to about here. So it'll turn here. And we'll make it so the fencing is beyond where the... Although, if they're on this side, I can't shoot at them anyway. It's, it's a nice guard tower. It's just not very functional. Nice looking guard tower, I should say. Okay, guys, we're going to split the difference. I got a plan where I get to keep the guard tower and I don't have to feel bad about the fact that it's not really useful for anything except for looking cool. Um, I do... <laughs> I've, I've concocted a story in my head that makes that guard tower useful. So let me see if I can uh, sell you guys on the idea. All right, so this guard tower is where the people who patrol the wall spend the night. Okay, like I would I would take Kate and I'd be like, listen, Kate, you're going to watch the wall tonight. Um, this is going to be your thing. Or maybe I'll maybe I'll put two people and they can they can go in shifts. Right. The guard tower will be somewhere they could go to eat, to drink and still keep a lookout. Right. I mean, they can still look out. Right. They can go there to eat and drink and they can they can patrol it in shifts. One person can sleep up there. The other person can patrol the wall. OK. Now, the other cool thing about the guard tower is this gives them visual range from far off. The only thing that I wish I wish it had windows on this side but all right can't have it all right but um it does give them visual range for quite a ways okay and then what i'm gonna do is to augment that i'm also gonna build these little outcropping things here right i think actually we should stop this because we're gonna get attacked let me get inside and pass the mist okay all right, guys, we've got to wrap this up, man. This freaking episode is taking me forever. Uh, I did not know exactly what I wanted to do when I came into this episode, but I got to tell you, I think I, I think it came out pretty good. I think it came out pretty good. I like the watchtower sleeping food type area. Maybe I'll put some dining chairs in there or something. Um, maybe a bed. I'm not really sure. Uh, you know, th that's th this is not anything that's going to be useful in the game, guys. It's just things that make me happy <laughs> all right so this is this just think of this as a far off guard tower maybe a place to eat a little bit of protection a little bit of uh vision and think of these i don't know what these are called but think of these as um more of active fighting right like if we're, if we're being attacked that this is where you go right i gotta get this chair out of here too it's always in my way i'll just put it over here for now but if we're if i'm being attacked this is where we come to fight if they're at the door, this covers this whole this whole area, right? So this is pretty, pretty cool. I'll probably put these, like, all over the walls as well. And also, I'll fence in underneath so they can't get through. Um, this one's a little bit cockeyed, but you know what, guys? I'm washing my hands the whole thing. I can only do so much. Uh, I, cannot let, I cannot let my, um, you know, my perfectionism, you know, my... Not that I'm perfect, but I can't let my... My thirst of trying to make everything perfect ruin this right i think that's what i'm trying to say okay i don't know why this is open that's kind of making me nervous all right guys there's the timer so all right guys what do you think of the uh build is it is it awesome is it super awesome or is it just awesome let me know in the comments thank you very much for watching uh, if you ended up enjoying the video please remember to uncage that like button also if you're new here please subscribe for more daily videos thank you very much for watching i'll see you next time and until then take it easy